A border battle for purple supremacy in Greenville on Saturday. Western Carolina so close to its first SOCON victory in its last 16 tries last week. Would the Cats fare any better against Furman? Trailing 7-3 in the second quarter and things get worse before they get better. Gerotis Williams pitched to the left side and peace out. 89 yards to the promised land, part of a 239-yard, two-touchdown performance. Paladin jump ahead 28-3. Western narrows the gap before the break. Michael Vaughn from three yards out. Bring him up. The first of two rushing touchdowns for him, 31-10 at the half. Fourth frame, Cats down, but not out. Quarterback Eddie Sullivan fires to Nate Stevenson for the tutty. Western will get within 21, but no closer. Furman prevails 45-24. Coach Mark Spear less than thrilled with the effort. We were very uh, uh, lackadaisical. We just didn't have a lot of zip. A lot of guys that were like, indecisive. Just we, we weren't flying around. We're going to look. We're going to see who's playing hard, who's coaching hard, um, and uh, just just try to get better. Key early season sack matchup in Mars Hill. Lions trying to put a dent in the perfect 4-0 campaign by Newberry and the Wolves. They'd be a handful. Tied at seven midway through the second when John Rick begins what would be a phenomenal day. Fires a strike to Donta Jennings, a 36-yard catch go and score, 14-7 Mars Hill. Rick back for more with more two minutes to go in the half. Play action and let's just say the defense bid on it. The right-hander launches one deep to Dimitri Holmes who grabs and goes and keeps on going. 92-yard scoring hookup, 21-7 Lions leading intermission. Career day for Rick. 342 yards passing, four scores. Here's another to Jennings who showcases some sweet moves to stay on his feet. But it's the defense making a key fourth down stop to seal the deal on this one. 35-28 Mars Hill in a barn burner. Some reason we've had a little bit of their number, but they played unbelievable today. We got ahead, and every time we get 14, they'd cut it to seven. But our kids just play, kept playing, and it was a big win for us today.